What is Amy Schneider for 400? <laughs> yeah. Listen, if you don't know the answer to that, it's all good. Because this young lady's streak on Jeopardy has ended after 40 games, but she pulled in $1.4 million before she rolled out. Man, are you a Jeopardy fan? I, Jeopardy is one of those comfort shows that I'm like, I, I don't take advantage of until I'm like, right, Jeopardy's on. I'll turn on for like while I'm having dinner and such. Yeah. And let me tell you, man, like, I I don't know how to place a hundred <laughs> on Jeopardy. Yeah. Uh, so I, I that's amazing that she got this far and walked away with 1.4 million. I mean that's I don't know if big close. Winner. Yes, yeah. you're the big winner, Amy. Yo, so Schneider's run of 40 win puts her in the number two spot in the all-time consecutive victories list behind the one and only Ken Jennings. Now, of course, I have yeah. heard of Ken, Gen Ken Jennings because not only did he beat 40 games, yo, my man's record is standing at a legendary 74. Schneider's yeah. one, Schneider's 1.3 million is fourth highest of the all-time regular season cash winning list behind Matt Amito. I think I vaguely remember him, James mm -hmm. Halsner, and of course, Jennings, who cleared out at 2.5 million dollars like how does how do you prepare for a life of being a professional jeopardy player like how, do, how does that happen like do you just wake up in the morning and it was like i'm going to pick g from the inside today <laughs> and just go for broke oh. it was like how long do you spend like gathering up random facts in the pop in the possible day of being on jeopardy if you decided i'm gonna be on jeopardy it's like going like what did you say that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, right? I, I, I imagine, of course, I'm making these massive assumptions. I'm imagining that they do walk around with like notepad and paper, and they probably have to be the worst person at the table if you're hanging out with friends. <laughs> that that person, you know, is always correcting. You, well, you know, actually, what is the correct answer is yes. We want some more hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yo, she said, uh, it's really been an honor and to know that I'm one of the most successful people at the game I've loved since I was a kid and to know that I'm part of history now. I, I just don't know how to process it. Yeah, regardless of how we feel about it, she is in the history books. You know, um, mm -hmm. it's hard for me to be top four trash talker at, at, at the spades table at grandma's house during Thanksgiving. <laughs> She's clearing over here at Jeopardy. It's, it's, it's nuts, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, so hey, speaking of taking chances, <laughs> Mortal Kombat movie has earned a sequel and it's already pinned a writer. The writer for Moon Knight is scheduled to do what could be a good movie? I don't, I don't know, how does, how does that make you feel about Moon Knight, which hasn't come out yet? And how does that make you feel about Mortal Kombat, which he's already got another gig for? Jeremy, the writer Jeremy Slater has had, I, I'm, I actually am aware of his career and he's had a lot of ups and downs on projects that he's been attached to. And I, I remember hearing that he wrote a draft for what became the 2015 Fantastic Four film. Uh, before you freak out, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me roll my uh, sleeves up for a second. <laughs> there, was early, there was early word on that script being really good and more in line of an MCU style movie than the uh, thing that we got. And, right. And, um, uh, so we'll see. Right. Um, maybe this will be, you know, like, again, you know, we haven't seen Moon Knight and. I know he's fully in charge of that, so we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of the last one, so <laughs> it, it, it could be an improvement, you know? There was a lot to be left, left to be, a lot left to be desired. Like my big question, yo, is where the hell was Johnny yet? I need my Johnny Cage. Yeah, yeah. And how That's are you going to not have one of the most <laughs> pivotal characters of the Mortal Kombat universe? And he's just MIA, just, I guess he's yeah. shooting something. They, they did I drop a bit of a, go ahead. Yeah, I know they dropped a, hit, a bit of a hint of him at the end of that movie. Right, right. So I'm but also it's weird that you, a movie called Mortal Kombat, and they talk about the tournament for two hours and the tournament doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Big facts, so, my guy. It's a weird choice. Um, <laughs> 
yeah there, there was a bit of a liberty as well regarding yeah. having somebody who's not even a part of the original cast mm -hmm. be the star of the show yeah. um i didn't hate him i just didn't get it you know it was right just it's like it's like when you get like the that, that little green piece of of lettuce or whatever it is on your plate on your, you're not gonna really like put it and just go eat it. it's just there for decoration <laughs> you're just like i could do without it but you know since it's here i guess the plate is prettier uh -huh.